Hi guys, welcome to the lesson of partial differential equations. So in this class, we are going to start uh, the uh, computation of uh, the Laplace uh, equation by using Fourier transformations, perhaps uh, uh, complex Fourier transformations. In fact, we are going to use for the Laplace equations. So the Laplace equations, we, uh, equation we all know that it's a uh, uh, harmonic uh, equation, dou i squared u or dou x squared plus dou i squared u or dou y squared, uh, where uh, the x uh, component or x axis, it's from negative infinity to positive infinity and uh, y is bounded between zero and some constant a okay and then the boundary conditions are given as u of x comma zero is zero and u of x comma a is some function of x all right so this problem describes uh, a steady state temperature distribution uh, over the upper half plane, that is y greater than zero. So this is our x, y plane. All right, so x goes to from negative infinity to positive infinity, whereas y is from uh, uh, greater than zero. Uh, that means it's uh, greater than zero, so it's zero comma zero and to some constant here that is a zero comma, or we can say uh, zero comma a, okay, fine. So it's the upper half half plane, this whole upper half plane. Uh, we are going to compute this uh, Fourier transform of this uh, partial differential equation. So let's apply the transformation on the equation. And as we know that the, boundary conditions are given for y. So we are going to apply the transformation in that appropriate manner. So transformation we applied. And then what we will get here, so we know that x is uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity. So this is the subject of transformation. We are applying transformation with respect to x. So it's negative omega squared u and then plus it will be d squared u over d y squared equals zero. Okay, so now we have a second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. And we know that uh, we can solve it by using the auxiliary equation. So it's R squared equals omega squared, which implies R equals plus minus omega. So the solution can be written as A e to the power omega y plus B e to the power negative omega y. So this function, what we get is a function of omega and y, but we need a function in terms of x and y. So therefore, first of all, we need to apply the boundary conditions. So before applying the boundary conditions, we have to take the transformation of the boundary conditions. So the Fourier transform of this boundary condition is going to be Fourier applied on the boundary. So it's zero, therefore u omega zero is again zero. And for the second condition, we have u x comma a equals some function of x, which means that for your transformation of some function of x, we all know it's again a function of omega. So you can write like this. Then what we need to do is we need to apply the boundary conditions. So u of omega comma zero, it simply means that a e to the power zero plus b e to the power zero equals zero. This is equation number one. And then we have u of omega comma a, that is equals to a e to the power negative omega a plus b e to the power omega a. 
equals f of omega. All right, so from this equation, that is, so let's call it equation two. So from equation one, it implies that a is equals to negative times b. So we can just plug it in equation two. So we will get a, a negative b e to the power negative omega a plus b e to the power omega a equals function of omega. So from here, we can use the identity. So we can take out b as common. Uh, in fact, we'll take negative b as common or no, make, uh, take it positive b as common. So we'll get e to the power omega a minus e to the power negative omega a. And if we divide it by two, so we have to multiply here it by two as well. Therefore, we are going to get a hyperbolic function. We know that, right? So to be a sine hyperbolic omega A equals F of omega. All right. Now we have this hyperbolic function here. So we can write uh, B of omega is nothing but it's equals to F of omega divided by two times sine hyperbolic omega A. Okay, now we know that B is, uh, uh, A is equals to negative times B, so we can write A equals to negative uh, times this whole expression. So it's negative times for F of omega divided by two sine hyperbolic omega a and then we can plug this in the equation of u omega y so it's u omega y is now equals to negative f of omega divided by 2 sine hyperbolic omega a times e to the power we have negative omega a so it's negative omega a plus f of omega divided by two sine hyperbolic omega a times e to the power omega a, right? So now this is the expression uh, for u omega y, but we need in terms of u x y. So what we can do is we can take the inverse transformation. And again, we have uh, this uh, function common here, this and this, so we can take it out common. So we'll get f of omega divided by two sine hyperbolic omega a times e to the power omega a minus e to the power negative omega a. Okay, oh, uh, one thing I just missed here, it's omega y, not omega a. Sorry for that, uh, because we have function of omega y now. Okay, so this is omega y. And again, if we divide it by two, we don't need to actually to divide it by two because we have two here. So this two, you can simply move inside. So let's do it here, just write two here. And then we have, f of omega times sine hyperbolic omega y again and then divided by sine hyperbolic omega a. Now this is the very simplified form of u omega y and now we can apply the inverse transformation to this problem. So applying inverse transformation to u omega y inverse transformation on this function. So by using the definition of inverse transforms, we know that now here we will have u of x comma y and here we will have one over two pi. Now the limits of x are from negative infinity to positive infinity. So we have f of omega 
sine hyperbolic omega y divided by sine hyperbolic omega a times e to the power iota omega x d omega so this is the final form of the solution and uh, so this is the solution for a Laplace equation uh, with directlet boundary conditions and uh, in the upper half plane. So hope you guys uh, will understand. And that's all for the time being. Thanks for watching the lesson. Goodbye.